My name is Vidavan and today in this video we are going to prove the expression that the expectation of xy whole square is less than equals expectation of x square into expectation of y square. In order to make this proof we need to remember the Cauchy squads inequality. Uh, a very basic or a layman concept in order to remember the Cauchy squads inequality is that let us first suppose uh, take two numbers say 2 and 3 and now perform its product 2 into 3 gives us 6 now let us perform its square this gives us 36 now take these two numbers individually and perform its square 2 square gives us 4 and 3 square gives us 9 now multiply these two number this gives us 36 conclusion which we can derive from here is that the product that the square of product of two numbers that the square of product of two numbers equals the individual squares of two numbers and performing their product so having said that now let us move to the proof to see how this further goes here we have our first target say target 1 is to prove required to prove that expectation of xy whole square less than equals expectation of x square into expectation of y square as earlier already said we have to remember the Cauchy squads inequality in here so look, we apply here we know the Cauchy squads inequality so we know from the Cauchy squads inequality that ai bi since we are taking ai bi we will provide here a summation i running from 1 to n whole square less than equals summation ai square to summation bi square where i runs from 1 to n in both the cases now here we have to remember a formality that we would write here that this expression that the equality of this expression holds where the equality of this expression holds if and only if a i and b i are proportional that this the, that the equality of this expression holds if a i and b i are proportional that is a relation of form lambda a plus mu b equals to 0 holds where lambda well, lambda square plus mu square is not equals to 0 is satisfied done now here we need to remember that we have to put here two substitutions which are quite plain and simple uh, simple uh, we put a i equals to x i by root n and b i equals to y i by root n let us name this equation as 1 therefore 1 implies in place of a i we put x i in by root n in place of b i we put y i by root n whole square which less than equals summation i 1 to n a i square which means x i square by n into i equals to 1 to n y i square by n done now we can shift this n to the left 1 by n summation x i y i whole square this is less or equals 1 by n shifts to the left i running from 1 to n x i square into 1 by n summation i equals to 1 to n square done this this 
uh, within the bracket the expression within the bracket this denotes us expectation of x y and we have square as it is this represents expectation of x square into this part which represents the expectation of y square and voila we have the proof done fine now from here on we have an additional proof to perform which uh, says that the correlation coefficient always lies between minus 1 to 1 okay so we have in here our second target target 2 required to prove the correlation coefficient which is represented as rho this lies between minus 1 and plus 1 we name this expression as 2 fine and we will also here put a couple of substitutions and our proof will be done say we put in place of x x equals to x minus x bar and y equals y minus y bar putting this in 2 what shall we get <coughs> expectation of x minus x bar to y minus y bar whole square this is less or equals expectation of x minus x bar whole square to expectation of y minus y bar whole square done this is this inner part is symbolic of covariance of x comma y this gives us covariance of x comma y and square will remain as it is expectation of x minus x bar whole square this is the formula of variance of x fine this is variance of x and expectation of y minus y bar whole square similarly is the variance of y now we shift in this to the left hand side covariance of x comma y by uh, we tend to put this in a, a whole square form so if we keep the whole square this will be what root over of variance of x into root over of variance of y which is less than equals to 1 this this part represents the correlation coefficient of x comma y so we write in here rho as we have denoted and this will be squared less than equals to 1 this gives us that minus 1 is less than equals to rho which is less than equals to plus 1 hence we have another proof done and dusted so wasn't this proof much simple and easy having said that there are also multiple other convenient approaches to solve this problem but what I have realized that this is one of the most simplistic approaches to solve this and just by remembering a couple of uh, substitutions or so you will be able to prove this with ease so having said that if you have liked this video do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and at this point of time I can only wish for your good health stay happy stay safe stay healthy hashtag happy quarantine